What's up, Wild Wild Air to Sang, it's Lexi C. Welcome back to my channel if you're not new. And if you're new here, welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. Good and frickin' Morgan, bro. Um, I <laughs> wanna do some skincare, so I'm basically gonna use a whole bunch of things that I got from my advent calendar. So we're gonna put some Carmex on because my lips are dry. Because I just finished brushing my teeth. So that's, mm, that smells so good. Fresh Carmex. Mm. I haven't had one in this before, which is like quite weird. I've only ever had the squeezy tube. But anyway, now that my lips are moisturised, we're going to cleanse my face with the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel that I got in my advent calendar. Of course it's not open, so we have to open it. I'm going to switch you guys to mirror view so you can actually see me doing my skincare. If you don't know, I broke both my thumbnails, and as in my thumbnails, and I can't make it to a nail salon, so we're living life real rough right now. So this is the cleansing gel. I'm just gonna slap some on. I technically should be doing this with a wet face. This feels so nice. One thing I will say about Dermalogica products is in my experience, I really enjoy what they do with texture. Not only the effect their products have on the texture of my skin, but like the literal texture of their products I tend to really like. I don't know, I just feel like Dermalogica is dry skin friendly in a way that not all brands are. I always find that when I'm like looking for skincare baddies, they're always the oily skin babes. So we need some dry skin representation up in here. So maybe that will be me, you know? Maybe I'll do it for the dry skin girlies because the only combination my skin has is dry and sensitive. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that feels nice, so I'm going to rinse that off. Okay, so now that my face is clean, I'm going to put a mask on. And the mask is, once again, going to be the one I got in my advent calendar. If you're new here, I've said this a few times, but one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use something that's new. Because what am I waiting for? What am I waiting for? Oh, I hate when I do this and I get like the water on my clothes. So anyway, it's the Oskia London Renaissance Mask and it's for brightening and resurfacing. Obviously you should always put masks on a clean, dry face. So that's what I'm gonna do. You know when people say like, oh, how do you function? with your nails this is how i can't function without them because i cannot open this with the imbalance of my thumbnails being short oh this mask does not look how i expected it to you i'll show it to you guys this this is not what i expected also i just changed the exposure because i realized how bright it is in my bathroom oh it goes on like this Yo, this is mad, this mask is tripping me out. Whoa, sorry, this mask is tripping me out. Putting it on, it feels like a cream, and it's like, uh, wow. I'm kind of in awe of this mask. I'm sorry, but I'm literally spinning. Like, why does the mask look like this? Now we're just gonna drag it down to my neck, because we do to the neck what we do to the face. Yo, this mask is crazy, like, this mask literally feels like a gel or a cream, but it's a mask. I'm gonna do what it says. Um, it says it will turn white. Ah, so I need to leave it for 10 to 15 minutes. Sure. So while I leave that for 10 to 15 minutes, I'm gonna wash my hands and attend to any other business that I would in the morning. <laughs> we'll be back uh, to take this off. Hey vlog, it's a whole snow day. It's literally a whole snow day. Real crazy scenes. Um, but I actually need to get groceries. I originally had no intentions of leaving the house, but now I know I have to, so I will. Guys, pray for me because I do not want to bust my ass 
and it's giving bus your ass weather. I'm going to the closest possible supermarket because I actually want peace. I want peace. I just found it. So they didn't have everything I needed at that supermarket, which has pissed me right off. But what they did have is Mr. Freeze Freeze Pops, which are basically like ice poles. If you know me well, you know I love an ice pole in the winter, in the summer, any weather. These don't take up a lot of freezer space, so I'm gonna slap them in the freezer. Just make sure I don't put them next to any scotch bonnets, because yeah. So I've made some corned beef stew, and it's gonna be a very Ghanaian lunch. Punayam. Do you know Punayam? <laughs> Do you know Punayam? <laughs> I'm ready to eat. Okay guys, so I'm about to put my crumble in the oven. It's actually not an apple crumble, it's a pear crumble. Crazy, I've never made a pear crumble before, but one thing about me, I can bake. So, it's gonna hit. So, All right, so, the crumble has crumbled. Yeah. So, that's the inside, can you see? Yeah, so we're ready. It's time for dessert. No, the ice cream looks pegged. Desserty. Yeah. No, guys, sorry. No one can't chat for me. First of all, who do you even know who makes pear crumble? This is slapping. Mm -mm. Don't chat for me. Mm -mm. Bye. <laughs> it's so freaking good. And the crumble is crumbling. Bye. Okay, so since the last time you saw me, I took my nails off. Be honest, how terrible do they look? <laughs> I honestly don't think they look that bad, um, but that's because I've done a lot of filing and I have put a clear coat of polish on them just to stop with like the snagging on surfaces because they're quite delicate right now but basically i didn't want to get an infill or get my nails done until it's like much closer to christmas so in like a week do i feel naked yes does this feel weird yes it does anyway i'm really happy with my pear crumble that i made today and apparently it's a winter snack funny story i didn't actually mean to make pear crumble initially I wanted to make peach crumble but I went to get peach slices and they didn't have any so I accidentally picked up pear slices like pear halves and I only noticed when I got home and I said you know what if it, I love a pear I eat pears and shit like that now shout out all the pears so um me and Rick Ross being the people who love pears I was just like Do you know what let me just make a pear crumble I have lots left over so it means I've got dessert for tomorrow on the agenda for tomorrow i'm planning to do some cooking and stuff but before i leave you i actually didn't open yesterday's advent calendar gift so i'm going to open today yesterday's and today's right now let's do it if you're new here i have the asos face and body advent calendar so i've been opening it all vlogmas long cool. i don't know why but i always get like a little bit anxious and I'm about to open them. <gasps> Got some Brazilian bum bum cream. I'll just show you. So it's funny I should get this because I've wanted to try it for ages, but my skin is so sensitive that it's not that I didn't think it would be good, but I just don't I don't go out of my way to buy new moisturizers. Um but people swear by this, so we're gonna try it. It's uh, infused with all powerful guarana extract. I mean, sure. I'll try it on my body and see, but my skin is just like, she don't like new stuff on my body. Okay, so let's open number 13. Or day 13. Lacutial Booster Facial Oil. I like a facial oil, 100% vegan active. Oh, so Bakuchio, I don't know how to pronounce it properly, is an active um, that refines texture, helping reduce fine lines and wrinkles, 
We work with a partner in India who uses sustainable harvesting practices to ensure the continuous existence of the crop in the wild. So it's a form of plant. So the ingredients list is so short. I've never seen an ingredients list this short, but it's literally squalane and facuccio. I mean, I'm, I'm going to try this literally tonight, so... It's a nighttime facial oil, period. But yeah, bakuchio is a plant from what I've gathered. Um, yeah. You mix two to three drops into your serums, moisturizers, or masks. Alternatively, apply directly to clean, dry skin. I'm going to apply it directly to clean, dry skin. Let's go apply it. So first off, we're going to cleanse. Obviously, next I have skincare. We're using a simple moisturizing facial wash my everyday thing also shout out to my skin because last week the hormonal spots were trying to take my life it's behaving a lot better so i'm happy literally skin is like a journey i have never arrived with my skin honestly as happy as i am with it and as pleased as i ever can be i never ever ever have it in my head that i've arrived with my skin and that's purely because um, hormones but also like your skin is ever changing there are so many different contributing factors so yeah you don't know that if I get something new I will try it and if it does not work I will just stop using it and when I say work I mean if I don't feel it adds any value so anyway let me rinse so my face and neck are soaking wet we're gonna wipe them dry I'm gonna quickly clean my nose stud so I'm just using my piercing aftercare saline solution. Looking and feeling good. I'm ready to change this, by the way. I kind of think I want something gold. And probably a ring. I think this is what the plant looks like. Hence the whole purple theme. Let's try it. So this is how dry my face looks after washing. But I do like that it's like glossy and shiny and gorgeous it's a very runny oil so we'll put on the neck oh i want to put a little bit more on because i have dry skin all right we will see how i look when i wake up um but for now i'm gonna call this goodbye hey vlog welcome to today i haven't been vlogging. I know I committed to Vlogmas, but I haven't been well. Um, I've been having really bad back pains, so I haven't been able to be very active. Um, so I can't really do anything for long periods of time, i.e. like standing and like walking around and whatnot and any like sharp turns and stuff. So yeah my whole like activity has been very minimal i'm very hungry so i'm going to get some food um because yeah i don't really want to make my brunch today but again like i can only do things in short bursts without exhausting myself so i will take you guys with me ashley and i are going to get some food today um but yeah that's really it all I'm going to say is that's the reason why you haven't been getting daily vlogs because I haven't been doing anything. Um, literally, I've been at home. I've been at home um, resting. So, yeah, let's let's go. Let's go get our brunch. Okay, so this is the food. This is called the Big Breakfast. Yeah, this is called the Big Breakfast. Um, but I didn't want mushrooms because I don't like mushrooms. Um, and I'm not going to eat meat. And this is the charcoal teller. Delicious. Okay, so I've turned my hat down because look at my nose. <laughs> oh, your nose is this. It's a little pink, it's a little red. This country's cold. Look at your girl. <laughs> I'm freezing, that's It is so cold, bro. Yeah, I can't feel my leg. Somebody help. Somebody help, serious. Please, I need a help. Help me, help me, help me. Please, I need a help. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey vlog, um, so two things. First thing, this chair that I'm on, which is my desk chair, um, which was one of my birthday gifts that I'm so happy about. I don't know why I hadn't tried to lean all the way back since I built it, but it like fully reclines, which means the world to me. As far as like since I built it, it's only been going back like here. But today I just leaned a bit further back and I heard the little click and now they see me rolling. Um, second thing, I changed this. I don't know how I feel about it yet because the area is still a bit scarred, but I don't know, comment down below and let me know. Do you prefer the stud or the ring? So the nose stud or the nose ring, if you even noticed. Um, but this is gold, which again is different because most of my like piercings, so the jewelry I wear in them, not gold. Let me know what you think. <laughs> I'm getting used to it and looking at my face like this. Um, yeah, really weird. Okay, let me know. You let me know what you think. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Tonight, I am going to be resting and um, that's pretty much it. So I'll catch you guys uh, tomorrow. Good night. All right, vlog. So Tyra's here. Tyra, say hi. Hello. Ashley's here, but she's doing Ashley things. <laughs> um, we're going to make some biscuits, Christmas cookies. Call them what Christmas you will. style. So Tyra's got the cutters and all that. And all that jazz. If you're an OG, you'll know that I had these last year. And if you're not, then you should be. And maybe you should go back to last year's vlog. Catch up. Catch up. <laughs> Catch up. Um, so yeah, wait, let's let's get started. So we need, I'm going to say probably 200 grams. I'm a bite, I measure. Yeah, I was going to say, please. <laughs> I have no measurements. 200 grams to me is like, if this is 1.5. Yeah, yeah. Mm. it's giving no. How many? So how much is that? This should be like two hundred. Yeah. How much did you say? Milligrams. That's why I don't measure up because it's so much easier when you don't. Yeah. Because when you, like cause when you yeah, when you eyeball it, you're like that looks like a number. Mhm. Mm Merry Christmas. Okay, let's start with that. It's going to be light though, I was kind of being gassed. So we just need to sift our flour in. I watched Lindsay Lohan's. Um, oh, same. You know what? Shout out to Lindsay Netflix. Lohan because she is. She came back. She's man. really coming back. She's came back. I'm so like happy for her that like, she's like survived. No, for real. As in, some, girl some girls have not survived that, you know. A lot of the girlies. A lot of the girlies that. She's even still ten, uh, like talented. Right. They do be weary. Wearing. They're showing Elf in the cinema. Are they? Yeah, so I'm, I'm like, I think it's like now out because it's what the 13th. Elf is so good. Yeah. Usually they want you to leave it for an hour, but that's what I'm not going to do. Right. <laughs> Cute. How cute. Your Christmas really do be hitting though. It does. Especially R and B. Doesn't it feel like Christmas? It feels like me. Christmas. Outcomes in 
my life, I'll never, never ever bad. That's the thing about me. Period. If it's one thing about me, the outcome's gonna be good, but don't play with me. <laughs> Bro, this said, I want maybe. to break free. <laughs> I wanna go. I wanna go. <laughs> All right, so we're done. As you can see, snowflake, got gingerbread man, got snowman, Christmas tree, um, made up candy cane, some hearts, and some regular sized biscuits. So these are gonna go in now, and then I'll show you when they're done so we can decorate. Sure. It's ready! So we've made the buttercream from scratch. These are ready, so we're coming to decorate. Mm -hmm. Look at this one. It's got candy canes. Hey, wow, more lights, more of it, more of it. Tree and candy canes. We got Mr. Snowman. We got some hearts. Um, we got Mr. Gingerbread Man. We have another Mr. Snowman, and then some more. These are just really cute. Very cute. You know, in <laughs> life, you have those who eat and those who get ate. I'm an eater. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just an eater. Isn't that what Joella said? She said you're either gonna be an eater or you're gonna get eaten. Yeah. Do you want to be an eater or do you want to get eight? I want to be an eater. <laughs> so Ashley's an eater and some of us were the, the food makers. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was great. I really enjoyed it. What do so you think? Nice. I'm really happy. They're very cute. They're so cute. Some of them have candy canes on it. That's really good. See, you heard that here first. Yeah. That's an exclusive. Yeah, right. exclusive. You can't get this anywhere else. Period. <laughs> After a very eventful night with Tyra and Ashley um, making the cookies with Ty and then chilling and listening to music and having a good old girly chat, it is now bedtime. So I'm gonna go to bed. First night sleeping with this. And actually the area is a little bit raw. So I need to be like quite careful um, with it, with old girl. I'm trying not to piss it off, but I think I need to put chamomile tea on it. Tomorrow is going to be a cleaning day, so I'm going to literally be cleaning. That's what I'm going to spend the first part of the day doing. Um, so I will catch you guys tomorrow. Good night. Hey vlog, good morning, uh, afternoon. I have literally been doing nothing since I woke up, so it's time for me to make something to eat. I bought my tea yesterday and I didn't drink it, fuming fuming for myself. So I decided I want to make a cucumber salad, um, kind of Asian style, but I wanted to now with my cucumber salad, so that's what we do. I don't have chopsticks, so I can't get the cucumber exactly how I want it, but we're gonna try. That's all. We're gonna try. <laughs> so first we start with our cucumber. I'm gonna unwrap this and wash it. It's like not a mini one, so I'm gonna use the whole thing because I'm a whole big person, so. <laughs> right, so I almost broke it, but it's springy. I'm gonna pop it into a bowl. Adding salt to dry it out. Now I'm grabbing some seasoning. I've got gherkins that I'm gonna add because I love me the pickle juice type flavor. 
So the gherkins are like quite small, so I'm gonna cut them up um, into smaller pieces just so that they go better with the salad. I'm gonna say four gherkins, because I feel like that's enough. We are also gonna have some tuna in there, so. My, that's a lot of pickle. Right, so it's finally done and ready to eat. In here we have uh, cucumber, I broke them apart. We have some gherkins, we have tuna, we have chili flakes, uh, garlic granules, light soy, a bit of light muscovado sugar. Um, I think that's really it. Yeah, a bit of seasoning and that's it. So yeah, delicious. Delicious, so this is my lunch. So this is my fit, this is what I'm wearing. I'm literally wearing a tracksuit, this armor jacket, my diesel bag, and my headphones to keep my ears warm as well as listening to music. Do we like my new hoop? Anyway, I guess go. Hey vlog, I'm outside. I'm going to meet gang because we're going to flight club. Um, I'll catch you when we get in. I'm not bagging at darts, I've only played once. So yeah, it's not enough for me to say whether I'm good or not. I'm gonna give a good shot. I am late. I think I'm the last one to turn up. Should have been there 15 minutes ago, but I'm about a three minute walk away. So yeah, let's go play some darts. so i have come home to a very very warm room and generally a very warm flat um but i think my room is even warmer because i was using hot tools before i left they've obviously cooled down but i feel like it generally warms up the room could be wrong about that but i just don't think i am um before i go to today eat i feel like i owe you guys um a little bit of an unboxing with my advent calendar so let's do that I feel like there are hella things and stuff in my room, but what's today? Okay, we've got a lot to get through. So, 14, let's just get right into it. Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, um, adaptogens and coconut water. This is cool, I don't really use Mario Badescu, so I don't think I'll be using this, but yeah. Not mad at it. On to number 15 this feels really light so maybe it's like a mask or something they are lucky stars mini nail stickers i mean they're cool they've got like the yin and yang sign and stuff on them um they have a lot of like zodiac signs and like stars and moons and stuff that's not my usual nail style so moving on what was that? 15? Okay. Let's go on to 16. Ah, uh, this is a mask. So it is the Sleepover Self Warming Steam Mask with Soothing Rose Scent. It's supposed to help relieve migraines, tension, headaches, dry eyes, and sleep problems. So you put this on your eyes. I want to use this when I take my lashes off because um, I don't think it will work with 
my lash extensions but this looks banging if i can't ever wear it because of my lashes then i'll have to give it away but steam mask not mad at it and last but certainly not least we've got 17 which is another mask this is the mask BAR, it's a brightening sheet mask with vitamin C, illuminating and purifying orange extract and licorice root. You lot know I love a mask. I absolutely love a mask, so I will be trying this out for shizzle. Oh shizzle. So yeah, really exciting. Um I can't wait. I can't wait to use this. So yeah, that is currently it. We're gonna remain disciplined it's weird because i started off like doing this really really actively and i haven't been feeling so well which is why i haven't been um around and vlogging daily because honestly i've been in my bed which is literally right over there um but i'm feeling a little bit better so i've been trying to like go out and do things a bit more so when i get my bed back it's like stay in your yard because you cannot like it's just a lot of energy for me to try and do things and I can't like stand for long periods of time so that's really that but um yeah I think I'm on the mend I'm gonna try and muscle through for this last week until Christmas um so after I put this out we will be back to daily vlogging and that is a promise I'm gonna try my absolute darndest to have some content for you guys every day um as I'm now getting active again but yeah like I've literally been like down and out guys so try to scrape together as much as I can. I did what I can and I'm sure that my OGs appreciate that. Um, but yeah, what do you not think about their hair? I got this hair like a while ago from a company I don't remember. If I remember, I will like link, I will like link the wig. But um, yeah, I don't know, I fancy being blonde today. So I may still be blonde tomorrow, who knows? But it was already wavy and I just added some curls at the front so it didn't look non-uniform but I'm digging it so yeah anyway I need to take my makeup off and then I'm gonna go to bed and I'll catch you when I catch ya I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog if you have enjoyed the vlog a comment welcome back because I've obviously been away from vlogmas for a hot sec also all my love to those of you who have checked on me in the IG DMs and like asked how I'm doing and why like vlogmas has stopped again so yeah love you guys and I'll see you in my next one bye